I got started with creating videos with a tech YouTube channel called Bain Tech. The goal of the channel was to provide reviews and guides about products that consumers could learn from before buying a product. See, I was the type of person who looked up reviews before I bought something. The channel grew and I learned a lot about marketing and content creation. Along the way, I got to meet some really cool people and travel to some amazing places like San Francisco and Taiwan. I've been able to work with big brands like Google, Verizon, HTC, Huawei. Through the channel, I have been able to meet and collaborate with top YouTube influencers like iJustine, TK Bay, Make Art Now, iPhone Do, Armando, and many more. Last year, I got to be part of the Sony Camera Camp, and that's where I got to meet some really cool creators in the Sony world. It was just really nice to meet some people that I look up to for one, and just kind of realize that they're actually down to earth just like anybody else. A few years later, after I started Bain Tech, a photographer friend of mine mentioned to me that I should try doing wedding videos. After some thought, I decided to give it a shot. Around the same time frame, some friends were getting married soon and I pitched to them to do their wedding for free so I could at least get one wedding under my belt before marketing that I was starting to film weddings. To this date, it is still one of my favorite weddings I've ever done. A couple months later, I booked my first paid wedding. I remember working with Sabrina Halcombe and DJ Smooth, Skylar Olds from Premier Entertainment Group at Jordan's Activity Barn. And that's where the selfie game started. I've been doing selfies with clients and vendors ever since the start. I never thought I would end up filming weddings and let alone start working with so many amazing businesses, entrepreneurs, and organizations. Things really began to pick up and business was growing. What was a side gig got to the point where I was able to go full time with the business. When I put my notice in at my last job, it was definitely a step of faith for us as a family. It was exciting, nerve wracking, and humbling all at the same time. You see, it's in my blood to be an entrepreneur. My dad owned and managed businesses pretty much my whole life. Funny thing is, my daughter Olivia is constantly thinking about different kinds of businesses that she can start. <laughs> the other day she asked if I ever got tired of Evergreen that she could become the manager. None of what I have accomplished I can take credit for. I've had some great friends and relationships that have helped to get to where I am now. There's no way I could do this without God's blessing, the support of friends and family, people like James Champion who look out for me and helped put in a good word, churches that let me use them as a testing field to practice my craft, surrounding myself with other entrepreneurs and creatives like my Wiregrass Wedding Collective crew who bought into a vision to invest in improving the wedding industry in the Wiregrass. We can't leave off my downtown Dothan friends. The list can go on and the number of people that for some reason support this guy in Evergreen. I have been so proud of Kristen stepping up and being able to take on gigs, do weddings, get her drone license, keep up with the books, finances, which by the way, I just, I just don't like. She definitely helps out in those areas and I could not have done the business without her. Last year, we hired our first employee, Caleb Pinion. He learned to edit and shoot quickly, and now he can take on first shooter roles. It was one of the harder choices to hire someone because of the investment that it was going to take financially in the training. I remember giving over a creative styled video. No one else has ever done this before, and creative projects has always been something that I took on. He hit a home run. It was such a relief and weight lifted. I was literally in tears while reviewing his first creative video. Caleb has been such an asset to the team. We couldn't do anything without the help of my mom. She watches the kids when we have jobs to do. She has been available when many people live their lives too busy to help out others. Her help doesn't go unnoticed. Someone once asked me why I'm passionate about photography. At the time, I had to pause and think about the answer. The thing is, I can't really say that I'm passionate about photography or videography. I get my drive from bringing out the best in what people are passionate about and what they care for. It's one of the best feelings in the world to create something that communicates the emotion and the heart of someone's vision and see their reaction. Evergreen is far more about others than it is about Josh Payne. I love this company. I love working with others. I love being a part of this community. I love elevating your passions through photos and videos.